Hi, my name is Roberto Dalla Vecchia and welcome to another flat picking and bluegrass lesson. Today I want to show you a diagonal pattern that is very very useful and very cool. It sounds great over dominant chords. I learned this pattern from Beppe Gambetta many years ago and I'm still using it today because I really like it and uh, I hope you will like it too. So let's get started. The pattern it's a diagonal pattern and it looks like this. Okay. So you see that I'm using the same two fingers for the last two strings and then I move to string four and five and I shift forward one fret and then I shift forward one more fret and this time I'm using string three and four and I shift forward one more fret and this time I use my ring finger and the last time I shift two frets and again I go back to index and middle finger so you want to practice this this fingering a little bit and uh, you see this is a closed position fingering means that we can move it everywhere on the fretboard okay just practice a little bit with that now I want to show you how to use this diagonal pattern that is pretty simple but let's see how to use it uh, let's say that we are in the key of C the key of C G is the dominant chord is the 5 chord for example if I'm playing Beaumont Rag I have I have a G7 going back to C in the B part you know when we play the famous cross picking here I have ta -da -da. I have that li nice long G7 and that's when I can play with the pattern, my diagonal pattern. For example, I can show you a, a simple lick that you can play goes like this. And the lick is two bars long, one and two, three and four. And uh, something like that. Let me do it again. So. C note and I play a, a C run a, a C lick to finish up uh, the phrase uh, now the lick is very very simple it works like this I slide from B flat to B with my index finger and then I play an F note okay that's that belong to the to the diagonal right now the next position in in the diagonal it looks like this and I can slide from E to F like this so you see I'm always sliding into the position first position of the lick and second position of the lick And now I'm ready to move to the next position that is here and again I can slide into it like this from 3 to 4 and for the last position here again I slide like this okay 
that's the lick. It's very, very simple. Or different timing, right? Uh, let's see why this lick works over a G7. Well, it's the, the answer is simple. We are playing just two notes all of the time. And the two notes are B and F. B is the third in the chord, in a G chord. B is the third, right? G, B, and D. One, three, five. So that's the third. And then the F note is the flat seven. And that note belongs to the G seven chord. So when I'm doing this, I'm just playing the third and the seventh. And when I switch to this position, I'm also, I'm playing the, the seventh and the third again, F and B. And when I go here, it's B and F. And when I go here, F and B. So you see, I'm only playing two notes, the third and the seventh. Even when I play the last two strings, F and B. So that's pretty cool, right? Uh, you can move this lick everywhere. Uh, as I said, we are not using open strings, so we can move it. That, that position works over the G chord. And I'm, you, you see, when, when I play the G7 like this, well, that's what's, those are the notes I'm playing on the third and on the fourth string, right? Okay, so if I need to play this over an A chord, I go to my A chord shape like this, and that's the position for the A chord. And if I need to do it over a C chord, just play my bar here. This is the eighth fret, and, and the middle finger, it's already in the right position. You see, middle finger. Um, I can also use another shape to, to find the diagonal pattern. And the other shape is the C7 shape. When I'm doing this, uh, if you look at the third and the, and the fourth string, that's part of the of the lick, of the diagonal. All right, you see that? So I can move that up to D, and again, third fret, fourth, um, third string, fourth string, that's my pattern. Okay, E, and F, and so on. So that's the way I can move and the, the, the pattern and over different chords. We are in the key of G, and maybe we have a D7 chord that is two bars long, and I want to use that lick. I need to find a D chord using the bar like this or the C7. Probably the easiest way is here, right? This is a D7, so, and that's my lick. resolves to G or I can go up here that's my that's my D middle finger and that's my pattern and uh, that resolves to G so that's the the diagonal pattern I hope that you like this lick I hope you like this geometric pattern that is so easy to remember I think and uh, and just play with it and see if you can find uh, other licks or other simple phrases this lick is also very useful if you are playing a, a 12 bar blues for example right and you have a 12 bar blues in G 
I can use those two notes for the for the G for the one chord. And when I go to the four chord, I can just use the same two notes and I move the position down one fret and back to the one and five for the five chord just go here so I can play the just the blues like this just moving the this the position and down one fret to the four chord or up one fret to the five chord that's something that's super cool to do so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao ciao!